Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today I'm going to explain the horror movie called Terrifier. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. The movie begins with a small TV showing a show hosted by Monica Brown, a talk show host, where she is interviewing a severely disfigured woman. She says that she was the only survivor of a massacre that happened the previous Halloween. According to Brown, the killer, who goes by the name Art the Clown, may still be alive because his body vanished from the morgue. She claims that he is, in fact, dead and that she witnessed his death. The man then violently kicks the TV and proceeds to wear his costume and stuff sharp objects into a trash bag. After the interview, Monica calls her boyfriend and criticizes the interviewee for looking disfigured in her dressing room, calling her disgusting. She then tells her boyfriend that if she ever looked like her, she would allow him to put her out of her misery. During the call, Monica kept hearing a rustling noise behind her, which she ignored every time. But the very last time she heard it, she went to inspect it. The deformed woman, who had been listening in on the conversation, attacks Monica and gouges out her eyes while maniacally laughing. Two friends, Tara and Dawn, are walking on the sidewalk after leaving a Halloween party in the evening. They then spot Art the Clown from a distance, and Dawn is freaked out. She apologizes to him about Dawn getting drunk, but when she turns back at him, he disappears. They then go inside a pizzeria to relax when Art the Clown suddenly goes in and sits on the table beside theirs. Dawn is very creeped out by the clown after he makes different faces at her. When Dawn demands for them to leave, Tara goes to confront the clown, and when he doesn't budge, Tara takes a selfie with him. The store owner then asks him to leave after not receiving any orders from him. Because Art had covered the bathroom walls with his own feces, the restaurant owner kicked him out of the building. They were walking down the sidewalk, talking about how creepy the clown was, when the girls noticed that one of Dawn's car tires had exploded. Dawn didn't have any spare tires, so Tara called her sister Vicky to come pick them up. Back at the diner, the store owners struggled to scrub the feces off the bathroom walls. Tara calls Vicky, but she is hesitant at first because she is studying for a test. But when her drunk roommate walks in with a guy and starts making out, she changes her mind in a snap. As they are waiting, Tara worries that the clown might be after them and that he is the one who slashed her tires. But Dawn disagrees. At the diner, the employee who had just finished cleaning the bathroom goes into the kitchen to see his co-worker's severed head on top of the stove. The clown attacks and he fights back, but he manages to kill him by gouging out his eyes and cutting off his head. In the meantime, Tara had the urge to pee, but there was no bathroom nearby. So Dawn suggested going to ask Mike, a pest control technician who just walked out of a building. Without hesitation, she asks if she can use the restroom inside the abandoned apartment building where he is currently working. He brings her in and leads her to the bathroom. While Dawn is waiting in the car, she hears the news about the pizzeria employees and panics as she slowly realizes that it might be the clown's doing. The clown then enters the car and abducts her. After peeing, she hears a cat somewhere and meets the cat lady, a delusional woman who thinks the doll she is carrying is her unborn child. When she hurriedly goes out of the room, she spots the clown and rushes back in. She hides beneath a car as the clown pursues her. When she thought the clown was already gone, he started stabbing her leg from behind, but she managed to run away. She made a run for the front door, but it was chained. As she screams for Mike's help, she is abducted by Art. He then stabs her with a scalpel and drugs her. When Tara awakens, she discovers that she is tied to a chair and that her mouth is covered with duct tape. Art then shows Dawn, who is hanged upside down and naked, making Tara scream. He then makes Tara watch as he uses a hacksaw to split Dawn in two. Tara screams louder, but she's hopeless since she's bound to the chair and has no other choice but to watch her best friend get brutally murdered. Tara was able to free herself from her shackles and attack Art from behind. She then grabs a weapon before running away and hiding from him. Tara smashed a wooden plank on Art's head while he was looking for her. She then proceeds to hit him multiple times with the plank and challenges him to get up and fight. As he was getting up, he revealed a gun and shot Tara in the leg, making her fall. Tara then slithers away from Art, but he proceeds to shoot her in the stomach and face. The cat lady witnessed everything and rocked her pretend baby to sleep. Art was about to finish her off when he noticed that the gun had no bullets anymore. 
Vicky happened to pass by the abandoned building they were at and knocked on the door. He then sees Vicky's text to Dawn that she has arrived, so Art texts her back to enter through the back door. The cat lady then sees Art shooting Tara. The cat lady then begs Mike to call the police, but he just dismisses her. The cat lady then discovers that her baby is nowhere to be seen. Art is found holding the cat lady's doll in his arms. She attempts to mother Art by cradling him as she begs for the return of her child. As Vicky was going around the building, she saw Dawn's sawed body, which made her run in fear. She then rushes to escape through the window when she finds Art there, who has severely dismembered the cat lady and is wearing her breasts and scalp. When Mike's coworker finds him, Art decapitates him. After finding her sister's body covered in string lights, Vicky flees from Art, but pauses to mourn. Art then charges at her using a homemade cat of nine tails, but Mike appears out of nowhere and knocks Art out cold. As the two run away and dial 911, Art then shows up and murders Mike. Vicky hides out in a garage, but Art rams through the door with a pickup truck and hurts Vicky. Art starts to eat her face as she lies helpless. The police show up, but Art shoots himself in the mouth before they can take him into custody. The bodies of Art's deceased victims and themselves are transported to a morgue together. Art revives and kills the coroner by strangling him when the body bag is opened by the examiner. After recovering from Art's injuries, Vicky is discharged from the hospital a year later. Vicky is then identified as the severely disfigured woman from the movie's opening scene, indicating that the entire film's events took place a year before.